Welcome back to my Bitcoin digital course. This is episode or lesson 12. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how your bots cannot make a losing trade. But when you first start your bots up, depending on which way the market goes, if the market goes down from the time that you start your bots, at least for the very first month until your bot starts to make some profit, you're going to start to think that you're losing money and your bot might even tell you that your total profit and loss is down a thousand dollars and you're gonna be ryan you told me these bots couldn't lose money how am i losing money and i'm gonna go don't worry bro remember when i told you and you're gonna go oh yeah you told me ah now i get it okay and we're just gonna drive that fact home so let's jump over here to the charts and see what we're looking at so if we take a look at the screen right here on the chart you can see that this bot ryan my bot my total profit and loss showing me that i'm down 887 dollars and i'm gonna go yes but what does your bro your bot profit tell you you know right my bot profit tells me that i'm up 156 dollars but my portfolio, now I'm down $905, Ryan, what is going on? And I'm gonna go, bro, take a deep breath. Let me, let me guide you, I say. Let me guide you, I say. Okay, so taking a look at the screen here, what do the green dots represent? They represent buy orders. What do the red dots represent? The red dots represent sell orders. So if we are taking a look at just the screen here, and you see right here, what happened? Bitcoin was sold right there. It sold it at 99000 and six hundred dollars. Well, where did it buy it at? Well, it could have bought it anywhere down here. It could have bought it any price, as long as price has moved up from 0.35 percent from the time that it bought it. And we can probably pull that up here on the screen, like this one went up there 0.36 percent. So it can sell. Okay. So what do the green dots rep represent? We bought. We bought. We bought. We bought. We bought. We bought. Okay. And what do I tell you? Your bot can never sell your Bitcoin at a loss. So it bought, let's say this, this is buying $1,000, which I think our bot is on this one. It's buying like $1,200 worth of Bitcoin every time that it buys. So it buys, 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 buys. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that at the very least is $6,000 worth of Bitcoin. You bought Bitcoin at $99,000 and you bought $1,000 worth of it. Okay. So that right here, and let's say price is all the way down to 96,000, right? I don't even know what price is at. It might be even less than that. That $1,000 is down what? Almost 3%. And if we actually go to the actual price of Bitcoin, so let's just do it from the top. We'll grab this Bitcoin right here. And we go all the way down to the green line, which is the price. It's down 5%. So that $1,000 is technically $50 less then when you bought it, and then here it'd probably be $45 less and then $40 less and 45, you know, you get the point, right? So if you add up all of the value of the Bitcoin that you bought at the higher levels, right? And you're still holding on to it. Now, now the prices came down, right? So your Bitcoin that you're holding on to has gone down in value, but you have not lost because you have not sold it. Now, let me show you what's going to happen here in the charts. So all of this Bitcoin that you bought above this green line, that Bitcoin is Bitcoin that you're just holding on to. You had US dollars, USDT, and it sold that USDT and bought Bitcoin. And now it's holding on to that Bitcoin, but price kept coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Now in between this range, you're buying and selling, buying and selling and buying and selling. So if you guys remember, what you're looking at here is your entry price point. So this is saying right now, this is the entry price for you to break even, dead even on your P&L, your bot needs to get right to here. And then you could sell all your Bitcoin, go back to USDT and be completely broken even, right? If you, if you really wanted to. But if you remember, we started this bot and we can tell by the very first order that our bot placed, which was right here at $97,798, which means price was probably at this dot up here, this first line, this first red line, which was at $97,959. So we started this bot, bot right around $98,000. Well, now it's telling us our entry price is all the way down to $97,154. And what that's telling you is, hey, look, guys, your bot is up $160. So if you were to have just bought this Bitcoin, right, and just hold on and you were to DCA into Bitcoin and you were to buy, 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 when well, you started buying at like 98,000 and you were to buy every 0.35%, your, uh, the average person who was just DCAing into Bitcoin would be $160 further in the hole than we are. So our bot has made us an extra $160 in profit in trading. So that means now our entry prices came and down, come down from 98,000 down to 97,000 or 97,200, whatever the price point exactly is. So you guys can see that these bots are not losing you money. Now, let me explain to you what, what that's gonna look like here in a, in a week or two weeks when price goes up or price might keep coming down. 
and then we can keep playing the game, right? So what you're seeing here is that we bought, 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 and we've kept buying all the way down here, right? We bought here, we bought here, and then as soon as price went up by 0.135% or 0.35%, we sold. We came back down and bought again. Sold, 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 bought, bought, sold, bought, right? Sold, 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 bought, and then we bought, bought, and you can see some some of these drops, right? Like we went up here and you didn't buy at all. You didn't place any trades in here, even though we kind of bounced between those lines. We crossed over this one line twice, but we didn't buy again uh, or we didn't sell again, right? Because we sold here and there was no movement. Then we came down, we bought, bought, and we sold, bought, sold, right? And see this, this little red dot? And then see what you want to do sometimes is you have to go into like a one minute time frame to actually see every trade that transpired. Because when we had it on the 15 minute chart, what I just saw was just this one red dot. And that red dot was lower than that green dot. And I go, this bot can't sell at a loss. So when we were on that chart just a minute ago, I go, you see that? And I looked at that and I go, oh my gosh, there's a green dot. And then this red dot is the lowest dot on the screen, which would have mean that it bought here and sold here, it would have sold at a loss, but the bot can't do this. And then you switch down to a one minute time frame, right? And you actually see, ah, there were two buy orders right down there. They just weren't showing on the higher time frames. For example, like if I go back to a one hour time frame and you come back to this chart, remember when you were circling right there? You don't even see, you don't see anything on that chart. You just see what it looks like, which just would be look like a red buy order at the lowest point right here. You're like, oh, okay. So anytime you really want to understand your charts, and you want to see every single buy order, you can go down to like a five or a one minute chart. And then you'll start to see all of the lower buy orders, which we actually, even on a, on a one, on a five minute chart, you're not seeing this one that was down here, right? You see this one here, you see the red one, you see the green one, but you don't see the one down there. So if you go to the one minute time frame, we zoom back into that same area going to see the green dot there. How cool is that, right? So it'll never ever sell your Bitcoin for less than it bought it for. And you can see every single trade. Now, again, look what's happening right here. We bought, we bought, we bought, we bought, we bought, we bought, we bought. Okay. We sold here. We sold here, but all of this Bitcoin, anything that we bought now, technically now that price is down here to 93,900 and our bot is what down 900 something dollars, right? If I take this green line, so at this price point right now in time, every piece of Bitcoin that it bought below or above 93,000, and we'll just go up to here, we'll just say up to this line right here. So every Bitcoin that it bought above 94,000, if price keeps coming down, it has no choice but to hold on to those Bitcoin. It cannot sell that Bitcoin because it's never going to sell your Bitcoin at a loss. But in the process of going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. And that's all this bot's going to do. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. So now the only time that we have to pay attention or we get worried that we might be in danger and we're never going to be in danger because worst case, we're just going to own a bunch more Bitcoin, right? So our bot is set all the way up to come down to $87,000, right? So my bot can buy and sell, 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 buy and sell. Now, if it gets below... Is eighty six thousand, eighty six thousand nine hundred and fifty two dollars. Okay, and what that'll tell you is that that'll tell you that we started this bot off with thirty seven thousand dollars, I believe it's thirty six thousand dollars, right? And that thirty six thousand dollars we started at ninety eight thousand. We started up here at ninety eight thousand, and it gave us a a eleven percent window. Right, so in thirty-six thousand dollars, it will have bought thirty-six thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin between that that window. All of your green lines when you very first start up your bot, that is your green window. So that gives me thirty-six thousand dollars. Gave me an 11, 12 percent window. Okay, so now what happens is if I want to, like, let's say price gets below eighty-seven thousand, and I wanted to trade another, let's say, twelve percent window, eleven percent window. That means that I would need to give this bot another $36,000 worth of USDT. And what that what that's going to do is it's going to take these, it's going to take green lines because all of these lines are going to turn red. As price comes down, right, every 
red line is a uh, pre-set up sell order for Bitcoin. Every green line is where I've pre-committed to buy. So these are all $1,000 or 1200 whatever we figured out the, the math was on that. And these are all buy orders. So see this green line here? I'm going to put another one here. And this is what you're, obviously I'm not spacing them out properly, but just to give you guys an idea of what the chart would look like theoretically. Boom. And then that's what your bot's going to look like. And then obviously depending on, because I, I have to go to another 11%. Okay, so that's about our 12%. So if I gave this bot another 36,000, it would put my bot total right here, this bot, right? Because this is an XRP one that we started that's trading shitcoin XRP for the greatest asset in the world, Bitcoin, which is a huge W. Um, $50,000, right? 52000 So that means if I gave another 36000 it would be up to roughly 80 something thousand dollars. And that bot's going to continuously trade and 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 trade. Now, the only downside to this is, right, on a Bitcoin bot, you're only able to have 100 grids. So that includes your sell grids, right? So that's where you got to kind of be careful. In theory, what I would do personally at that point, and I've kind of learned a little bit of a workaround, right? So in the program itself, I can't turn off one of their limit sell orders, right? I can't go into the bot and go, okay, I want to take this limit sell order off and just put that Bitcoin in my wallet. But what I can do is I can go into the exchange manually and I can forcibly cancel that limit buy order. And then once the limit order is canceled, it removes it from your bot program. Now in your bot itself, it might say that it might show that that Bitcoin was maybe sold at a loss or you had to take it at a loss because of the profit percentage, but you're not. You're just putting that Bitcoin in your portfolio and holding it. I'm not going to sell that Bitcoin at a loss. I'm not going to sell any of my Bitcoin. Then that just becomes some of my HODL Bitcoin that I'm just kind of taking profits and stuffing into a cold storage wallet. If I bought it at 100 grand, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to sell it till it's five, 10, 20 million dollars. So I don't care if I'm just stuffing away more Bitcoin or I could look at it from I took my profits, right? And put my profits in there. But the only thing that matters over here, the only number that you ever should be worried about, unless you're going to turn off your bots and sell all your Bitcoin and be a, a be a sheep and go back to putting your head in the sand and working a nine to five and being a slave. I understand if being a slave is the, the allure to you, then by all means, get your slave on. But we're trying to make successful uh, passive income generating machines so you can escape the matrix. And the only way you escape the matrix is by stacking sats, folks. It's like the fastest, most easiest, simplest way to escape the matrix that I've ever seen. It's the only guaranteed foolproof plan that no matter what happens in your life, if you take 10% of your wealth that you generate in a year and you put it into sats and you do that over a five or 10 year period, five year period for if you work a good job and you can stack a decent amount of sats, you can do it in five years. But the average nine to five worker who can only afford to put a hundred or $200 a month away, uh, those people will take 10 years. Now, if you're the based badass, I don't have any kids and I'm willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to get out of the matrix type of motherfucker. Well, if you're that type of motherfucker, then you can get out of this fucking matrix pretty fucking quick. <laughs> Sorry for all the F-bombs. So fuck with you guys. <laughs> it's the only industry in the entire world where you can go get a second job at McDonald's and work your dick off or work your ass off or work your tits off or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Work your junk off. <laughs> all over the place today. It's the only industry in the world where you can work your fucking ass off. And in four years, working a second job at McDonald's, if you go out today and you get a second job, it doesn't matter what it is. McDonald's is paying almost $20 an hour starting wage for a burger flipper. So you can go be a burger flipper making $20 an hour. And if you're lucky, you get some overtime in there too. But let's just say it's a 40 hour straight 40 hour work week. And you take 100% of that and you put 100% into Bitcoin. Doesn't matter the price point. You just do that every week consistently and you do that for the next four years. You will put yourself into a position where your family, your great, great grandkids, your great, 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 great grandkids will never ever have to work again. So let me ask you this. Do you, would you rather go get into debt, go go to college and get a job and go to college and work your ass off and get in $100,000 worth of debt or $400,000 worth of debt to hopefully get a job that generates you enough income to pay off that debt? Or would you rather listen to Ryan Matta, stack sats, work a second job at McDonald's, or if you're a smart kid and you're 18 and you live at home with mom and you don't have any bills or expenses, you don't have to work two jobs. You just have to work one and you just have to put 100% of your income from that job into Bitcoin. And in four years, bro, chica, you don't have to work. You don't have to hope that you get a good job. You won't need a fucking job. 
Your job will be enjoying life, making babies, eating healthy, going to the gym, going out, partying with your friends, whatever you want to do, you're going to do it because you listen to Ryan Matt and you stack these stats. Let's keep this grind going, folks. We're going to get you guys out of that matrix. We're going to help you get rich. We're going to help you change your life ex exceptionally fast. Again, my name is Ryan Matta. Hopefully this video helped everything make sense. So this is a, a great informative video. You guys can support our work by becoming a paid subscriber over on X. Our paid subscribers on X always get access to all of this content before everybody else, as well as locals and our supporters over here on Rumble. God bless each and every one of you guys. Stack those stats. These are our Bitcoin lightning wallets. If you guys would like to stack or help donate some lightning here, uh, even if this mission gets me killed when I'm trying to rescue these traffic children, these are the addresses that I will be passing along to my little man. So if I'm no longer here and you guys are watching this video because uh, Anthony Blinken, USAID, Samantha Powers, or Todd Robinson, the ambassador of Guatemala, played a role in my assassination, well, well then, please uh, support my little man because he no longer has his father. And these are the addresses where you can do just that because he has those private keys. Not your keys, not your cheese, baby. We out. Peace.